Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Donna Parsons here, and today we're going to be tackling pivot tables slicing in three minutes. Yes, three minutes. So I'm going to start the timer and let's get going. So the first thing that you need to do is have a database like I have here with headers across the top. So for example, I have a company with um, employees and shifts and salaries. And if I want to drill this down to a pivot table and then to slicing, the first thing that we're going to do is come to insert across the top. Now when you come to insert, you want to make sure that you have left click your mouse anywhere within this table. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you click, but just make sure that you're inside the table. You're going to come up to the insert tab. You're going to come over to pivot table. And by default, you're going to leave the radio button that says new worksheet selected and click OK. Now, in this case, all I want to do is show the department heads and I want to show the salaries for each department. So all I need to do is come over to salaries on the right hand side of my fields category and departments. And when I do, there is a listing of my salaries and there is a listing of the departments. So that is easy, easy pivot tables. You can select different I items, uh, for example, positions, and there I go, there I have different positions. So let's just say I'm going to have positions, shifts, and some of the salaries. And you know that you can drag and drop these values down below here anywhere you want. So if I wanted to change and put the shifts up here, I could. If I want to drag this down, I can. So dragging and dropping and putting them into different rows, values, or columns may be an answer for you as well, depending upon how you want to show your items. So now let's drill down. Make sure that you have your uh, pivot table selected and your fields are on the right. And when you do, across the top, you have pivot table analyze. And there is something called slicer. So when I left click on slicer, now this is going to be able to drill it down even further. So I'm going to select shift and I'm going to select position and I'm going to select department and last name and click OK. And when I do, I get these four boxes that pop up. And the cool thing about these boxes is I can drag and drop them and I can show exactly what I want to see. So for example, I'm going to left click my mouse in shift number one and it shows shift number one and it shows um, on the left hand side how many departments are in shift number one. For example, if I just left click in accounting, it shows me in shift one in accounting, those are the people that are part of that department and those are the sums of the salary. So you can see that creating a slicing is the way to go when you want to drill down your data. So we're at three minutes. We've done pivot table. We've done slicing. And I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you so much for your time. And let's go on to the next lesson.